Hello and welcome to Susie Makes, a craft channel that takes you through a variety of crafts, mainly at beginner level. Today is a review day and I'm going to, I was bought this Sapphire baby die cut machine and I thought it'd be interesting to review it on air. So I have unpacked it and I have cut a couple of things with it which um, I will show you now. Um, I cut Uh, this from Glitter Card, which is very thick actually, using this die, which was free. 13 dies you get free, which come on this pack. Um, I've got some of them out because I've been having a little practice with it, and I thought it'd be fun to do this on the video. Now, uh, so there was that one cut out this um, lovely felt swirl using that die and that's the uh, aperture part of it cut from 45% uh, wool uh, I think it's 55% viscose felt, uh, lovely and soft, but cut beautifully. There are no when you uh, when we look back at this one, there are no um, catches on the cuts. It absolutely glides smooth, few beautifully smooth. And as you can see, this is the piece it was cut from and there are no catches on there either. It's beautifully smooth. Now, just put those over there. I also, from, I think it was 350 GSM, this is one of Hunky Dory's anyway, Sabadash rearranged this piece of card and did a swirl from there, no problem. Again, beautifully smooth, uh, beautifully smoothly cut on that die, and I did have a square which seems to have gone, but never mind, I can always do that again. Now, in using this machine initially, you I open the box, so you get the machine, you get four plates, an A base plate, a C cutting plate, an embossing mat and an embossing plate and you get these 13 dies free as I say I am using some so I've got uh, three of them over here now um, my initial findings were it cuts beautifully no problem whatsoever um, and with fairly thick card felt the only thing I couldn't really practice which I would like to have done would be the, the thin leather but I haven't got any tans so I wasn't able to practice that I am by no means a seasoned paper crafter I started around 18 months ago um, and I've dabbled in in and out of it because mainly I'm a crochet knitter stitcher um, paper craft I sort of had my interest peaked um, a few few months back and I've been to a few lessons which I have enjoyed but I must admit I never really fully took to die cutting and this was bought for me as a gift and I thought it would be fun for a complete novice to die cutting to review this on air so apologies if you can hear a lawn mower going out the back there but just one of those things so you do get a little booklet of instructions. Now one thing I have found, now all my reviews either get a one or a two thumbs up, two thumbs up being the best, a one could do with improving. One thing I have found with this machine, well, actually there's a couple, but it doesn't like embossing folders. Now I wanted to emboss this which was a free 
rose embossing folder from a magazine last week and it doesn't take it and I didn't want to force it so I had a quick look online to see if anybody else had said anything about it and it does appear that it doesn't take embossing folders from what I could find online if you know different then please do leave a comment um, below and if you do know different please could you tell us what plate combination you use because it only appears to emboss the already cut out dies um, so for instance all you would do you cut out a die like this and then you would take your cutting plate off and put your embossing mat and your embossing plate on and run it through again it doesn't like taking folders it's just too thick in my opinion um, but as I say if anyone out there knows any different then please let me know so you would leave that on there uh, on the base plate like so and you would add the embossing mat and the embossing plate on top and then run it through your machine and it, it embosses which makes such little difference in my opinion I'm not sure I would actually bother with it if I'm if I'm honest but for little die cuts can't fault it so I'm going to um, assess this on three things the sturdiness and stability of the machine will be either a one or two thumbs up the um, die cutting the same and uh, the embossing um, so first the stability to ensure that your die cut machine uh, sticks to the surface you're working if you look at the front here you have this lever which you push down clockwise and it releases this rubber plate on the bottom which is then meant to suck the flat sturdy surface and clean uh, this did actually have a wash down yesterday so um, so one thing I have found is that it's good to push on the top and then push that down open your p uh, table I either side and your machine is ready to go now I'm going to cut this little uh, tag die on some I think it was 280 GSM card has a slight debossing can't really see that I don't think we might have just caught that then a uh, pattern on one side so it does tell you in the instructions that you need your A base plate when you're die cutting you must just stack from the bottom up a uh, shape die template with cut ridges now each die for those of you who don't know does have a ridge one side and a flat the other side so the cut ridge must be upwards um, on top of your base plate then your card stock on the top or whatever you're cutting it from and your C cutting plate um, lastly on the top and then you feed through your machine I can feel it biting there yep that clap click doesn't mean you've just broken the machine it means that it has accepted the die and it's going through and it's cutting <laughs> hopefully right now that's the one thing I found that it does seem to release itself after each time the plate has run through the plates have run through so I have to switch the lever back to the starting position push down on the machine and it does seem to keep doing that at the moment whether it doesn't like wood I don't know anyhow for die cutting look at that now that is absolutely perfect you can't fault it at all now if you wanted um, 
depending because this is slightly different size the machine then uh, you need to be a bit careful what side you put your card down on but it doesn't really matter it's slightly debossed one side and slightly embossed around the edge so I don't really see much point in the embossing mat and plate cutting uh, embossing plate if I'm honest but there that has cut beautifully no catches beautifully smooth right that's that one and that's from the card now let's try a bit of Miri and again your A plate your uh, die cut aperture or your die template rather going to try the card the other way up this time Miri card face down and your cutting mat you push in till the handle starts to move on it of its uh, I'll show you that again watch the handle push in till it starts to move of its own free will and you don't actually have to push right in it just really touches it it seems like the handle moves when it accepts it so don't um don't force it J just push towards the rollers until the handle moves that'll tell you when uh, when it's ready and coming back again here it is The inside of your plates will mark. Uh, I'll be able to see that there, but it does have a slight over. But my understanding is that is common with the uh, die cut machine plates. And there you have a perfectly cut out oval shape. Um, with a slightly embossed edging, which is lovely, and there is the aperture that side. Um, Miri car, which I believe is around two eight, two eighty to three hundred GSM, beautifully cut out. So as I say, I've done glitter card and I have done felt. 380 GSM card or 350 and let's get my improvised pokey tool which is a darning needle That's something I need to get if I'm to die cut more which I have a feeling I might with a, a little uh, machine like this it just feels a little less threatening when you're not used to die cutting so there's my little flancy bit. Oh, seems so and again, see the machine released itself once the plate um, had gone through. That is slightly annoying, a slight annoyance on this machine. Now, so my review would be die cutting, two thumbs up. Stability, one. It is a bit annoying that it keeps releasing itself every time the plate goes through. Maybe it just doesn't like wood. Maybe you'll have better luck on a glass craft mat, for instance. Um, who knows? And embossing, in all honesty, if it doesn't accept folders, which it certainly didn't earlier. And as I said, I did look on the internet to see... Um, if anyone else had said anything about embossing folders and from what I saw it appears it doesn't now I tried it uh, the sandwich felt too thick even if it started to go through a little bit tiny bit it certainly was just wasn't going to go through it was just too thick for the little machine so I would say embossing sorry no thumbs up can't see the point um, 
certainly if you want it for taking to your craft classes for your for your little die cutting um to cut some little dies for scrapbooking or as a beginner's machine for a child or a complete novice to paper craft um as long as you understand because it certainly doesn't say it in the um on the box or with the instructions that uh, this is not suitable for embossing folders at the moment anyway who knows what will come out in the future or maybe somebody else knows something different maybe uh, using uh, different plates that uh, I don't know but it does say quite clearly in the instructions that only use the plate sandwiches as set otherwise you will cause damage and you will void your warranty so take care is all I will say happy die cutting thank you for stopping by and please come back again soon bye for now